What is going on guys, Nick here, welcome in today's video. Today I'm going to show you the 5 best knots that you need to know in case of an emergency or in a survival situation because these knots will save your life. So watch till the end to learn them. Let's go straight to the first one. The first knot I'm going to show you is the most trusted knot in the world. You need to know how to do this with your eyes closed at night while they're firing guns at you. You need to know how to do this and it's the bowline knot. It's literally the strongest and easiest knot to do a loop. Here is the cordage I have. Let's get to the knot. You simply do a loop with the hand rope on top. You can see here is on top. You do your loop and you enter from behind. You can see this is going to be your loop. You go behind the rope and inside the loop you did. You pull the two ends and you can see you have your strong loop which is not gonna come off anytime soon. But in case you need to make it uh, come off, you simply, you see this U, you turn it around and simply hoop, and everything comes apart so easily. And because the release is so easy, this knot is used a lot in sailing, because it's strong as hell, but it has a quick release in case you need to untie it real quick. I'll never say this enough, you need to know how to do this knot. It's definitely the most important knot in the whole world. You can use this knot for a lot of things, anything involving a loop, this is the go-to knot. If you fell down a hole, if you fell down a well, or you're at the, at the end of a cliff and someone is at the top and is throwing you a rope, you can do this knot around you right here. So when they pull you up, I can assure you this will hold and you will be saved. So learn this knot because it's very useful. Most trusted knot in the world. The second knot I'm going to show you, it's called the Klovich knot. I showed you in the first one how to, how to do a really strong loop. Let's pretend down that, that loop has a weight on it and you need to hang it somewhere on a ridge line, on a tree or somewhere. I'm going to show you how to do that knot. So there are two quick ways on how to do that knot. The first one is around a branch. Let me show you. We take our rope, we put it across like that and we pull it and we go behind so that we have an X right here. We then go down and inside the loop that we just did, you can see these two cordages, these two needs to be parallel to each other and this one goes across. You can see even with the weight on, it's not going anywhere. This knot is really useful to hang things from a tree or from anything else. Really strong knot, which is super easy to untie because you just need to... Whoop, you saw that? If this hand has a weight on it, this knot is not gonna go anywhere. As soon as you pull this up a little bit, you can see it comes so easy apart and it's untied just like that. It's a really useful knot because it doesn't require much rope and it's easy to untie but it's still really really strong. There is an even easier way of doing the Klovich knot which is by making two loops like the hand rope needs to go behind the main rope twice. I'm going to show you again. We go behind, behind. You put the two loops on top of each other. You pull them. You always should pull them in opposite direction. And you can see this is really tied. I'm going to show you once again. We do one loop going behind, the second one goes behind too, 
on top of each other. I must slide them in here, pull opposite directions, and you can see uh, the Clovich knot is done. Beautiful looking knot too. Third knot I must show you, it's called the square knot, other known as the reef knot. In a survival situation, so you may need to cut the rope because you need to use just a part of it. And later on, you may need to stick them back up together. This is the knot for you. We have our two ends. We put the right one on top. You can do the left one on top. The important thing is putting uh, the same rope on top twice. Let me show you. Like an X with the right one on top. And then we put the same rope, which this time is on the left, on top. We pull and that's it. This knot is not gonna go anywhere. I recommend using this knot when you have to tie two ropes of the same diameter. In case they are not of the same diameter, this knot is not uh, uh, recommended. The first knot I'm going to show you, it's called the poacher knot. This one is in a survival situation you are going to use when you're building a trap. And it's very useful because any animal without opposing thumbs cannot get away from this knot other than breaking the rope which uh, in a survival situation you're probably gonna use your shoelaces or your jumper laces that you can see right here this will work just fine with a small game uh, animal such as a rabbit or some rodent like animal this is this is the knot for you i can assure you it will old and you will get your meal let me quickly show you how to do it Whoop. a super easy knot there is the standard way of doing it and there is a quick way of doing it which i'm gonna show you because in a survival situations you need to think and act fast so you have your rope you do a loop with the hand rope on top you press it against your uh, your finger and you roll twice you need to see two strings here when you're gonna do the third one instead you're gonna go inside and pull everything together you can see we have our loop and then <laughs> i am caught Please don't overuse this knot or overkill. It's a really strong knot because any animal without opposing thumbs cannot get away from this. So use it in a survival situation and be careful. The fifth knot I'm gonna show you, it's called the tot line each, is the basic knots that every Boy Scout knows. It's used to anchor things uh, down, like, such as the tent or a tarp or anything else. You can anchor it down on a tree and uh, it can still be fixed throughout the way. Around the tree, we go underneath, inside once. Uh, one loop. Inside twice. Underneath, inside. Uh, you pull this little dude right here Whoop. and here it is you can tighten it we can lose it here it is it's still gonna hold its weight crazy knot that every outdoorsman every survivalist needs to know quick recap of all the knots i taught you first one is the bowline Super easy knot, Whoop. just like that we have our really strong loop with a quick release right here, Whoop. everything comes apart easily. First knot, bowline done. Clovich knot, super easy, you usually do it around something, so here, here is how to do it uh, just on your own. We go behind twice, two loops that go behind, 
on top of each other, pull opposite directions, boom, snap, done. If you have to do it around something, you go around, behind, creating an X right there, and then inside of the last loop you did, <coughs> super strong not easy to untie second one done third knot is the square knot or reef knot right on top left on top boom done easiest knot in existence honestly fourth knot is the poacher knot which is super easy once again loop with the end rope on top around twice and inside just like that boom and yep poacher knot done super easy fifth one is tote line each we go around the tree underneath inside once Oop. So that we have one loop here, inside twice, underneath, inside, and you pull. That's it. Tote line, you can slide it up and down still gonna hold beautiful knot i use these five knots because they use minimal rope you can see i used this rope which is 60 65 centimeters long max and i managed to do all of them that's a really important thing in a survival situation because you usually cannot waste any resources and you won't have this nice rope you're probably gonna use shoelaces or jumper laces anything like that it will work you just need to be careful how much rope you are using and in case you need to to cut it, uh, I show you the square knot, uh, which you can later put them back together. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. These are the five knots I would recommend anyone to know, because in a survival situation, they will save your life. So, see you in the next one.